What is going on guys, what might have back again in here for the video for you guys for today. And uh, before I get into my main topic of the video for today, just want to give a shout out uh, to a good friend of mine who just made a brand new channel. And that is the Phenomenal TNA, that's right, Phenomenal TNA. Check out his channel right after the video when you can. Uh, I will most likely leave the, you know, the channel for you guys to check out down there. Or maybe in the annotation, but most likely it will be down there in the description box for you guys to check out. Uh, so uh, that's the shout out for today. And uh, basically getting into the main topic of the video is talking about the evolution of NXT. Basically my official thoughts on NXT with, uh, you know, season 1 through season 3 and of course the... Yes, the next upcoming season, which looks like it might be the final season, I'm not too sure, uh, of NXT, which I'll get to that in a little bit. So uh, hopefully I don't really, you know, mess up with this video. And, uh, you know, I'm going to try my best with this and, uh, you know, talk through the seasons uh, as much as I can. And kind of short as I can, too, with that as well. Uh, so let's start it off with season one. And, uh, you know, season one, we had basically all the guys that we have from the group as we know now as a Nexus. Uh, you know, originally uh, this was, you know, as we thought, uh, you know, going to be, you know, like tough enough, uh, but it was kind of like tough enough, but, you know, with a whole different twist to it. Uh, it looked good on paper, but, you know, as the seasons go on, you know, it started to, I guess, in a way decline. Uh, but season one, you know, as we started off first, you know, I thought, you know, wasn't bad. Uh, like I said, we had the guys from basically Nexus. We had Justin Gabriel, uh, Wade Barrett in there as well. Uh, you know, guys like that. And, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty interesting. You know, the things I didn't like really about uh, season one and the rest of the seasons is, you know, the challenges that they have. You know, they could have been a lot more better. Uh, but, you know, it was their first time, so, you know, I gave that a chance anyway. Uh, but the matches itself, you know, uh, what really impressed me, uh, you know, trying to showcase these guys from FCW coming in and trying to be the next breakout star. Uh, the guy that impressed me the most really was Ray Barrett, and of course, you know, he won season one of NXT. Uh, just his in-ring skills and his mic skills, too, uh, also impressed me. Uh, a couple of guys, you know, other guys impressed me, but, you know, Wade Bear for me, was basically on the top. Uh, so, uh, you know, with him winning season one of NXT, I thought it was great. Um, you know, of course, right after that, uh, you know, Wade Bear then went on to create a group and bring everyone back. Of course, you know, the eight, uh, you know, NXT rookies, and uh, we had the pros there as well with the eight pros. Uh, you know, of course, they came back, but they weren't part of the group, uh, even though some of them had a few with it. Uh, but anyway, uh, Wade Barrett, you know, comes back, brings uh, all the, you know, NXT rookies with him, and creates the Nexus, and trying to be, you know, the next dominant uh, group, which I liked in the beginning, but right now, uh, it's kind of like stale, really, right now, so hopefully they get better. Uh, right now, uh, they do have the, you know, Tag Team Championships, and now Ray Bear is looking to become the next WWE Champion. Uh, so, you know, that part I think is cool as well, you know, trying to get all the gold in the WWE. Uh, so, uh, that's basically it with Season 1. Uh, season 1, you know, wasn't bad. I thought it was good. Uh, then we're going to the next season right after, you know, the season finale of Season 1. Uh, the next following week was Season 2. Uh, you know, we had guys like Vaughn in there, and, uh, you know, that's basically, uh, you know, one of the guys, too, that I liked in there. Um, you know, Kaval ended up winning Season 2. Um, the way he's, uh, you know, being used right now currently, I don't really like that whole deal. Uh, you know, with his whole losing streak and stuff like that. Hopefully, in time, WWE, you know, would, uh, you know, help out Kaval and, uh, hopefully, uh, you know, use his character more better, uh, you know, end the winning streak, and, uh, you know, eventually win a championship, I would definitely like to see that. Uh, even though he won once in the episode of SmackDown, you know, that didn't really just cut it, and then it just went back to a losing streak, so, uh, hopefully that whole thing would end. Uh, but, you know, my official thoughts in Season 2, you know, it was pretty good. Uh, you know, we, we had guys like Percy, uh, Watson and stuff like that, and, uh, 
you know, the season two was, you know, pretty good for me. And then, you know, I was happy uh, with Caval winning uh, season two of NXT. Uh, so uh, that's basically it with that. Uh, then we got into season three. That's right, season three. Uh, you know, the previous season that just ended yesterday. Uh, you know, with this season, um, you know, I am a big fan of you know women's wrestling, but you know the way it's been right now, uh, it hasn't been all that great, uh, which sucks. Um, you know we don't have you know a lot of uh, female wrestlers that you know are actually good. There's a very few of them left that you know have uh, good talent. And, uh, you know, WWE and uh, mainly mainstream too, uh, you know, aren't really showcasing uh, what, uh, you know, women can really do. And, uh, you know, they really can fight just as well as the guys. But, you know, if they gave them more time uh, and put more effort to them, I think everybody would, you know, enjoy them more and not, you know, go for a piss break or anything like that, uh, which seems to be what people are doing. And, uh, you know, with this season, I didn't really care for it that much. Um, you know, I watched it, you know, very little and on and off. And I, you know, I started with season three in the, in the beginning. I uh, gave it a chance, but as it went on, you know, it just kind of, you know, got boring for me. So, you know, sad to say. Uh, but I did get to watch the uh, season finale. And uh, we had girls like Caitlyn in here. We had girls like Naomi, uh, Oksana here as well. Uh, the one that really impressed me the most this season uh, was Naomi. Uh, I thought, you know, she was, you know, a good wrestler and she was good in the mic and basically spoke the truth. Uh, AJ, I thought she was pretty good too. You know, I was pretty uh, into her as well. Uh, but in the end, uh, you know, it came down to uh, Naomi and Caitlyn, uh, you know, as of yesterday. And uh, the one who ended up winning it was Caitlyn, uh, surprisingly. I thought Naomi was going to win it, uh, but Caitlyn ended up winning the whole entire season. So uh, as far as Caitlyn's career uh, right now, uh, I'm not too sure what they're going to do with her. Uh, we're just going to have to wait and see. And uh, as for the rest of the rookies, uh, I'm not too sure if they're going to bring it back like uh, the new previous seasons. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. Uh, you know, it might be just be Caitlyn altogether, so we'll just, you know, like I said, have to wait and see. Uh, but that's basically it with the, you know, official thoughts of all the seasons. Hopefully I went through it, uh, you know, pretty well, and I try my best on this video. So if it came out a little sloppy, uh, I do apologize for that, but I try my best. Um, but anyway, uh, that's basically it with those seasons, and uh, now we're moving on to season four. Season 4 NXT uh, looks okay this uh, season. Uh, hopefully it's going to be the last season and uh, we can get Tough Enough back in here and uh, just, you know, scrap the whole NXT thing. Uh, you know, they could have done a lot more better uh, to make the fans more interested uh, with NXT. Uh, you know, especially with the previous seasons as well. Uh, but, you know, Season 4 I think I might be more into uh, than the last one. So, you know... I watch uh, the first, uh, you know, few episodes and then see how it goes from there. Uh, but anyway, I'm gonna run through the pros and the rookies uh, as of right now. Uh, you know, we got Pro uh, Archers coming in with rookie uh, Johnny Curtis, and this guy looks like a pretty good wrestler. Of course, you know, he's as well like the rest of the rookies from previous seasons from FCW. Um, so you know, actually gonna be pretty interesting to see how well he does. I uh, might check out some of the matches on FCW, so, uh, you know, we'll see how that goes with that. Also, uh, this one uh, actually made me laugh a little bit. Uh, we got Pro Chris Masters. That's right. Chris Masters as a pro. Uh, you know, it's amazing uh, what uh, pros they come up with nowadays. Uh, and his rookie is Brian Saxton. Uh, so, uh, you know, it would be interesting to see how he does. And, uh, you know, if you guys want to see more on um, who these people are. Of course, you know, check them out on FCW, I'm sure, WWE.com, of course, will have, uh, you know, what they look like. Uh, then we get into the next pro, and that is pro Ted DiBiase, and coming out with Maurice, so I'm sure Maurice will probably do something, uh, you know, have something to do with NXT Season 4, uh, so that should be uh, kind of interesting there, and his rookie is, uh, Hopefully I got this name right. It's Brightest uh, Day, if I got that correctly. I hope I didn't screw that up. Uh, but 
you know, he's really like, uh, like a young Big Daddy V, if you want to, you know, put it that way. Uh, like a young, uh, Viscera, so, uh, he looks actually pretty interesting. Not too sure if he's gonna win it, though, uh, but anyway, it's still too early to tell who's gonna win Season 4. Uh, but that's, uh, the next rookie. Uh, the next pro we got here is the Intercontinental Champion Dolph Ziggler. Of course, you know, the previous, uh, pro, uh, we had for Season 3 was Ricky Guerrero, and now Dolph Ziggler getting into the mix. Uh, his rookie we got here is, uh, Derek, uh, Bat, uh, I think I said, uh, Batman, something like that. Uh, you know, his last name, I hope I didn't screw that up as well. Uh, but that's what I have here on that. Uh, you know, sorry about my phone. Uh, but that is, a um, uh, Daniel Bryan's rookie. Uh, next, uh, excuse me, uh, I messed it up. Uh, Dolph Ziggler's rookie is Jacob Novak, and, uh, Daniel Bryan is gonna be also, uh, there as well as the rookie as a pro, I should say, the United States Champion, and uh, his rookie is going to be Derek Batman. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm basically trying to say. Uh, then we get to the our last pro here, is pro Alberto Del Rio, and he's going to get involved this season, uh, for season 4, and his rookie is Connor, uh, Connor O'Brien. So uh, that's basically it with the list for season 4. Uh, you know, I will leave the, you know, uh, that as a link down there for you guys uh, to check out the 8 pros and the 8 rookies. So, uh, you know, hopefully I didn't mess up with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys thought on all the seasons and NXT in general. And uh, that has to do with the video. And as always, I will talk to you guys later on. Peace.